What do you do for work? I'm an 18 and over content creator. Again, still here and sorting my looks. If you've really stooped that low that you have to insult the way that somebody looks, you've lost. <laughs> Um, I work from home, so yeah. Who are you collabing with next? I've not got any collabs lined up at the moment. Thank you, Russell. Oh, thank you. <laughs> No, I have all my GCSEs and I also did A-levels. I was going to go to uni, but then I thought, what's the fucking point in paying thousands of pounds and living my life in debt going to uni? It's just a scam, really. I'm not gonna lie, my family isn't something that I choose to discuss on places like TikTok, just because obviously I get kind of weird, obsessive, not in a good way, kind of people on my page, um, on my lives. I've had some scary <laughs> interactions with some kind of weird dudes. But yeah, so I don't discuss like my personal family ins and outs on here. Thank you. Um, I just knew a lot of girls who were doing it and thought I'm going to give it a try and loved it. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, it's the safest bet, really. Thank you so much, Leo. If you get depressed like I, I wouldn't just sit in my house and get depressed I work at home I don't need to be out to like not be depressed I just don't really get depressed I don't know I just enjoy my own company thank you you don't like some people just are completely anonymous some people aren't some people choose to like show you what they look like tell you their name and whatnot it just depends really on the person's kind of you get some people who do want to come and chat and genuinely get to know you and you know some people just want somebody to chat to other people just want to not like you know to be anonymous um and just enjoy content it completely depends yeah this is the account that i got back <laughs> Yeah, there really is. You do get some scary people. Like, I've had some scary encounters. I'm not going to lie. So you just kind of got to be careful. Oh, we've got you choose to, like, kind of say on here. Um, Personal-wise. Because, like, when I first started doing TikTok, I was, like, really naive to what people could find, like, find out about me. Um, and I just used to chat, like, because I'm just a genuine person i just come on here chat to you guys but yeah um and i used to kind of like just chat freely like i would answer questions and i kind of learned that like there's certain things that i shouldn't share on here you know like the, i just thought it was like a thing like being open but yeah some people just get a bit weird so yeah you've um you've just got to You be careful. Mm -hmm. This guy's still here insulting my looks. I've not replied to him in like 20 minutes and he's still going. Still going. How sad. Are you real? Yeah, I'm not AI. <laughs> I've really got him riled up, haven't I? 
Nah, I don't really game. You know, the gym. I'm currently building a gym in my garage. It's pretty cool. Um, I actually can't wait for it to be like done. Um, thank you. My Twitter's on my TikTok profile, or you can get it on the link tree on my Instagram. I know I can't wait for NNN. Are you Irish? Thought you're British. No, I'm British. Thank you. <laughs> The reason I'm building a gym in my house is just because I've had like so many weird encounters at the gym as well. Like too many weird encounters. Sometimes it makes me like a little bit uncomfortable going to the gym. Cause you get some guys who just go there not even to work out, they just go there to like lurk. <laughs> This guy is so jarring, like, shut the fuck up. You've got a receding hairline that goes way back with my granddad and you're sat here <laughs> fucking spamming me. At this point, they're just jarring me off. You've had your nippiness. Like, when you're spamming me at this point, I'm just trying to answer normal questions. Like, you're a two out of ten. I'm not interested in arguing with you. His spamming is gone now. He was jarring. Like, I'm just trying to answer questions and I've got this guy filling up my chat box. Mm -hmm. Like, we get it, you're pissed off. <laughs> Can't say anything yet because he got muted. Oh yeah, he probably will make a fake account. It's probably, that was, was quite literally how obsessed he was. I don't know what film that is. I don't really have all that much of a type to be honest. No, I'm not. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know there was like a nickname for it. Um, no, I've not watched it. <coughs> <coughs> do you call on fan view in that risky? Um, I do my calls on Snapchat or WhatsApp. My first car was a golf. Volkswagen Golf. I live in Manchester. And I've still got my second ever car. <laughs> my first car broke. I was on the motorway and I was driving. No, my i4 is actually my third car. However, I didn't get it like as a third because my second broke. I just got it as a second car. So I had... Um, a little Volkswagen Golf for my first car and I was coming down the motorway and my clutch literally just snapped um, and then I paid to get a whole new clutch put in and it didn't work so yeah that car was a complete write off like it literally just had to be scrapped then um, yeah I got my Audi A3 and I've still got my Audi A3 
had it for a good few years now. And yeah, and then I got my i4 just as like a second car to my A3. So I like switch between them. Oh, thank you. Mm. Sorry, I was just sending a text. <laughs> it's not where I received it. Um, it just depends, like an N and N. To be honest, mm. like which do I prefer out of? the two cars. 